welcome back to my little reading corner. <laughs> I keep moving to different places in the living room because as much as I love this chair, I don't actually sit here very often to read because I don't really have a footrest and it's not quite wide enough to, you know, get real comfy like a big wide couch is, so I usually sit in the corner of this couch here. But I love this chair because it is comfortable, but I should just get a little ottoman or something because then I could sit here and just lounge. Anyway, I don't know why, I don't know if you guys really needed to know that. Also, I'm going to brighten it up in here a little bit. There we go. Anyway. It is now Tuesday afternoon. Um, this is November 2nd. Tuesday afternoon, November 2nd. Here's my phone. And yesterday and today, it has been so cold. It's 43 right now. And that's the highest it's supposed to get today. There was chances of snow earlier, but it didn't snow, but it feels like snow outside, and it's been cloudy, and so it's just the perfect day to snuggle up in a nice sweatshirt and a blanket, light a candle, which you saw earlier, which by the way, I love those candles. Homesick, please sponsor me. <laughs> anyway. I know I should get reading done because Erica read 10 books last month. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Finished one book maybe. I don't remember actually. I should go back and look. I think it was at least two or three. Two. I can't quite remember. I should get on to reading. But all I want to do is turn on some stories or something to listen to like Adventures in Odyssey or something in the background and put a puzzle together. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So surprise, this isn't exactly a normal reading vlog because I'm going to put a puzzle together. Also this last weekend that I said that I would have plenty of time to read, well, I did read some and I actually have been getting through this book somewhat. Anne of Avonlea, the second book. I just haven't been recording because it takes too much time sometimes to pull out the camera when it would just be easier just to sit down and read. And there are other things happening. And work and life and my home <laughs> comes first before filming and YouTube. So sorry about that, but thanks for understanding. I just don't always have the time to just whip out my camera and film. But this last weekend, I was gonna do stuff, go out and do stuff, but it turned out that plans got canceled because one of my friends got sick and I ended up just staying home most of the af most of the weekend. And I ended up, I read some, I, did the cleaning and I did laundry and just kind of chilled and relaxed all weekend. Um, Saturday evening actually I pulled out my sewing machine for the first time in oh, goodness 10 years or more I don't know and started sewing again putting a little quilt together that my grandma gave me years and years ago as a gift that she gave it at the time that I was not interested in sewing and but I kept it because I always wanted to make it because it's from grandma and it's actually a really pretty pattern and squares and stuff and so I was just so I was sewing those together Saturday night and I was watching um, Singing in the Rain the musical the classic musical for the first time in my life what and it's so good and I'm officially obsessed. Wow. It's just so good. I love it and no wonder it's a classic. It is 
easily my favorite musical now with Sound of Music coming in at a close second. But all that to say, I didn't get as much reading done as I thought. I was just doing other old grandma things. And now I want to put a puzzle together. So that is me. I love to read. I love to sew. I actually don't really love to sew, but I'm kind of getting into it. That kind of like inspired me. Um, I also want to take up knitting. What is happening to me? I don't know. But that's just me. I am an old soul. <laughs> and I love puzzles. And so now I'm going to choose a puzzle because I have a big collection. Because I love them so much. And I work at a thrift store that sells puzzles for really cheap. <laughs> and so I snatch them up when I can. Um, so yeah, come pick a puzzle with me and I'm gonna put I'm going to start putting the puzzle together and I will also be reading some today, hopefully. I don't have to cook supper tonight, so that's nice. Um, yesterday was six months since Vince and I got married and we are going out tonight because we wanted to go bowling, but the bowling lanes aren't open on Monday night. So we're going bowling tonight after we eat at our favorite restaurant, Quincy's best steaks in town that's for sure wow anyway come pick a puzzle with me i'm gonna stop talking this has been fireside chats with carmen with no fire carmen's corner maybe i should rename my youtube channel carmen's corner because this is my corner this is literally my corner this is my chair my blankets my books my corner I turned on the YouTube fireplace and I am actually going to turn on this audiobook that I'm listening to. Educated. I think I actually have the book somewhere, but I just haven't read it yet. And this was available on Libby, so I decided to just listen to it. And so far, I am really enjoying it. So we're going to listen to this while I do...
Hello! Well everyone, it is now November 3rd and... <laughs> questioning everything I ever thought I would do with this whole booktube. Okay, not really, I'm sorry. That was not the whole truth. It's more like... Uh, I kind of feel like maybe it's taking away the pleasure of just sitting down and reading especially this series, or maybe it's because this particular book is actually a little bit harder to get through than the first one was. It's not holding my me captive as much as the first one did. Um, and I'm, I don't know if it's really the book's fault or if it's more like this, this week and this season and time of life where it's just like I'm distracted by all the other things. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna Go ahead and read and just get through this book. So, let's go. Grab a book and read with me. We can sit together and just read. That's always fun, <laughs> I think. Well, we're done, <laughs> yay. I literally read from the time that you guys saw from the previous clip until it was time to leave to go somewhere for, to our friend's house for supper. And then when we got home, which was mm, close to 10 maybe, maybe a little later than that, I read until 12 o'clock. So, I don't know if that was a smart idea because I was tired today then at work, <laughs> but I got the book done and I got my work done. So, you know, we're calling it a win-win. And I know I said in my last clip that I was, it was a little harder to get through this one um, or like it didn't interest me as much as the first one did hold my attention as much, I guess I should say. It, it's not like it was boring. It clearly, it's definitely not boring. Do you hear Vince coming home? It's definitely not boring. I still love Anne and like, it's just in her growing up stage and she's now 17 in this book and she's teaching school. And so it took me a while to get into it and also there were so many different characters being introduced into this book that I didn't know about before which I found really interesting but was kind of hard to keep up with a little bit but yesterday when I started reading and obviously finished it all the way through I was I loved it and I, I was so into it. It was so good. Well okay so yeah <clears throat> Vince came home and we talked and we made supper and so I didn't wasn't able to finish what I was saying. I don't even really remember what I <laughs> ended up saying but I did end up enjoying this book. I really love the new characters that showed up that um, are not in the movie and so that was a lot of fun but I'm just really excited to get on with the next one. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most, Anne at the Island. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. <clears throat> Excuse me, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>